Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to share with you my February sewing plans, which includes my Valentine's plans, as well as plans for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. The BHM Pattern Designers Challenge is hosted by the lovely Natita. She goes by the So Natural Day here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And she hosts this challenge every year that highlights black pattern designers for the month of February because it's Black History Month. I really love this challenge. I participate every year. And for the last four years, I was an ambassador for the challenge. So I'm really excited to announce that I am an ambassador for the challenge this year. And I'm going to share with you my plans for the challenge as well as show you the fabric that was sponsored to me by Natita and you'll see uh, what I'm going to do with that fabric. So I'm really excited to share with you all of those things. Before we get into the video though, I want to tell you a little bit about the challenge and uh, tell you how you can participate in the classes that are offered at the live event that she is hosting. So the live event is hosted in Texas on February 5th in Caddy, Texas. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the information in my description box. So I'll put the link to the information actually in the description box and you can go over click on the link and you'll find all the information on how to register for these classes and how to participate participate in the live event. In order to register for the classes, you do have to be at the live event because this is a live event and you go to the event and participate in the classes. So if you want to sign up for the classes and hold your spot for that class on February 25th, I think she's also doing one for the 26th as well. It's a two day event. And so you can um, go ahead and register for those classes. So let's go ahead and first talk about the classes that's offered and then I'll talk about the ambassadors for the challenge and then also the sponsors. So there are going to be four different classes taught by four different people. So the first class is the fabric flower class and this is taught by Anne. The second is the necklace class which is taught by Monica. The third is the natural and me made textiles class where you're going to learn about um, fabrics and different textiles that's taught by Beverly. And then there is the power of color analysis that is taught by Audrey and the power our color analysis class is going to focus on basically um, how you can uh, identify colors that suit you and then also um, the power of color basically and what colors match with one another. So I really like that class and I wish I was able to go to the live event. I'm not, but I would like to um, in the future do a uh, color analysis myself. So that is um, all the information for the live event. The ambassadors of the challenge are myself, so T of Crumpus Tea and Sewing. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Uh, you can find the link to my IG account in the description box below. You could go over and follow me on Instagram. I'll be sh sharing with you a lot of my inspiration and pictures of uh, different styles and different silhouettes and things like that that you can create for this challenge. I'll also share with you some of the patterns that you can use for the challenge as well. The other ambassador is Crystal. She goes by Crystal Sews and Stuff here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Again, you can look in the description box below and find her link or her handle so you could go over and follow her as well. And then the lovely um, Divine Dita is um, going to be uh, uh, an ambassador as well. And you can go over and follow her on Instagram. I'll leave her handle in the description box below as well. Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she is on uh, IG. So here are the sponsors for the challenge. Um, the sponsors are uh, for level one, So Much Fabric, Sew Your Bag, and Sew so Already. For level two, Love Notions and Melanated Fabrics. For level three, The, the Last Stitch, Itch the Stitch, Zariah's Creation, and Georgia Girl, Girl Sews. And for level four, Pigeon Wishes, Rebecca Page, Sew to Fit, J. Desiree Studio, The Make Space, Bag of the Month Club, Ashawn Taylor, The Woodlands Physical Therapy and Recovery, and Rich Thick 360 or 360. The rules of the challenge are pretty simple. You tag So Natural Dane and you also use the hashtag BHM Pattern Designers Challenge with your entry. You also need to make a pattern from a black pattern designers in order for your entry to count because this is uh, the month of black history and so we're highlighting black pattern designers. So your pattern must come from a black pattern designer and I'll put Natita's link to her website. She has a list of different 
uh, black pattern designers that you can choose from. And then lastly, you have to enter your garment um, between the challenge um, accepted time, which is February 1st and 28th. So you can't submit a garment that was sewn before February 1st. It has to be sewn in the month of February and you cannot submit your garment after February 28th. All right, so with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video and let's see some of the things that I'm going to be making for Valentine's Day as well as for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. So let's start with this pattern here. This is the Butterick B6723. I've made this pattern before. I'll put an image here so you can see what it looks like. So you can see the classic silhouette of it, but the dress that I made, I didn't put the buttons down the center front. These are functional buttons, but I um, omitted this button band and I put my front on fold. I want to do this pattern again and I'm supposed to be doing it in collaboration with um, some lovely women over on Instagram. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to be doing this for Valentine's Day and I haven't decided definit definitively what fabric I want to use. In my one of my last videos, I told you all that I wanted to make something with my cherry uh, my white and uh, red cherry fabric for Valentine's Day, but I have since changed my mind and I'm thinking about using this black and red floral fabric. I think it's really cute. It's a chalet fabric and it is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I'm still not 100% certain if I wanna use this or not, but that is um, a plan. I still have very loose plans and I still, you know, it's, it's, I'm supposed to have this done in about a week and I'm still like sitting on the fence. So I'm hoping that I can get this done. Next, I want to make this pattern right here. This is the Know Me pattern by Brittany J. Jones. It's the ME2002 and it comes in sizes 10 to 18. Uh, that's the only drawback I think for this pattern is that it only comes in this this size range here is the 10 to 18 and even though it's a knit I would like for it to come into uh, larger sizes as well. The pattern calls for stretch knits only such as interlock, jersey, rib knit, ITY, sweater knits, those types of fabrics and I already cut the pattern pieces out and I went ahead and traced my pattern pieces out as well and I'm in the process right now of um, uh, sewing things together. So I cut everything out, all my fabric and everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you the fabric that I'm going to use with this which is a really beautiful um it's almost like a plum or dark grape color, which is so beautiful. It's similar to what Brittany has here, but it isn't a print. It's just a solid. And I'm going to share with you what it looks like. So here's the fabric here. It is so gorgeous. And I had um, a lot of leftover fabric of this. And so that's why I still have a big chunk, but I did cut my, my pieces out already and I'm all ready to go ahead and sew. And you'll probably see this sometime next week because, or at the end of this week, because it's already cut out and ready to go. So I really love this. It's a, um, it's somewhat of a thin fabric. I purchased this from Fabric Mart Fabrics about four years ago. So I've had it in my stash for a while, really needed to get it out. It's really soft, but again, it's lightweight. So this is probably going to be like a four, maybe a five ounce um, knit fabric here. So yeah, really like that. And that's my first plan for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. Next, I want to make something with this beautiful fabric here. Now, this is a Valentine's fabric, but it's cotton. So this is a 100% cotton fabric. I usually don't like making things with 100% cotton. I usually like um, like a cotton blend. But this fabric is so cute. I love this fabric. So I'm thinking about making either the Simplicity S9606 top. Now, I've been playing with this pattern. I really like it. I've made two garments already in uh, Charmeuse fabrics. Really nice and drapey. Love it, love it, love it. The only thing that I didn't like about this pattern is that this V-neckline version, very deep. 
very, very deep. Um, I haven't done this version yet. I did a mock-up for this version, actually, and the neckline was just so, um, it had a lot of gaping in it, and I would have had to modify the neckline quite a bit. But I tried this one, and I actually liked it. The only thing I didn't like is that in this area here, you you can tell that the pattern is drafted for B cup. I'm a D cup, and I uh, used the size, I believe, 18. And even with that size 18, so it fits nicely on the bust and on the waist. But in this area here, it is very, very plunging. A lot is, you know, seen in this area because I'm a D cup. So it could be because she's smaller that you're just seeing a little cleavage. But for me, it's a lot. And so what I did is I stitched this into a center seam here going up about four inches and that took care of my problem. I have a center seam here, but I still have the V neckline. It's just a center seam and it looks amazing. I love it. It has these little shank buttons that go down the center front with loops for closure and you can just pull it overhead. And even though I lost four inches up here, I was still able to pull this over my neck with no problems. So I absolutely love this. And I was thinking about making a cotton version, but I don't know if this will be too stiff uh, to do kind of the pull over the head method. I would definitely go another size up if I were to do that because this is so stiff. Um, but I'm thinking about doing this. If I don't make this pattern here, I want to make this McCall's M8255 pattern um, come in plus sizes as well. So that's why I really like this pattern. So you get regular sizes and you get these plus sizes here. Um, and I was thinking about doing this one here, view B with the puff sleeves. And I think that would be cute as well together. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this Valentine make, which pattern this M E or this pattern here, the McCall's M8255, or the Simplicity S9606. Next, I would like to make this Nomi pattern by Dewana Chandler. It's the ME2004. So I'm thinking about making the jacket pattern. And I have some beautiful animal print uh, fabric. Actually, I have two, and they're Ponty knits. And I'm thinking about um, do using one of those knits uh, right now, I don't have access to the fabric, so um, I'll share with you what that looks like as the time approaches and if I decide to make this pattern. So this pattern comes in sizes, let's see here, 8 to 26. So you have a really great range there, and I really like the jacket, and I'm thinking about doing that for the BHM Pattern Designer Challenge. Next, I want to make this Nomi pattern by Ironica B. Cole. This is the ME2005. I really like this top. It is so easy. I did a mock-up of it, and it is so easy. So even though you're not supposed to sew anything for the BHM Panda Designer Challenge, I have been doing like my mock-ups for this and um, just preparing my fabric. And I'll share with you my fabrics here and uh, show you what they look like. And I have also um, cut out some pieces as well. So again, you're not supposed to sew, but I was preparing. So uh, this pattern come in 16W to 26W. So it's basically only a plus size pattern. But I will say this based on my mock-up, because my mock-up was made using a... Um, a cotton fabric and so it is a little bit stiffer than the uh, charmeuse and chiffon and those types of fabrics that I am planning to use and so because of that um, obviously I'm going to get a little bit more drape and the silhouette and the um, the way the fabric behaves and moves with your body is going to be different than cotton and I'm aware of that uh, but it is very stiff with the cotton but having that said um, I will say this for the size 18 or the size 16, that's the original size that I uh, sewed. It's a 44.5 inches for the bust. That was a little bit, I mean, I got away with it with the mock-up. It, it looked great, um, but it is a little bit too close to my body than I like. 
Um, as you can see here, she has an elastic in the waistline here. And so, and then up at the top, it's not too tight. Um, you can see some fabric here. Uh, it's not too tight. And so I was looking for something that is not so form fitting. So I think I might have to go up to the size 18W. So I think I'm going to go ahead and trace out my pattern pieces and re uh, draft pattern pieces to uh, to see if the 18W would fit better. I feel like these sizes here, the 18 and the 16, is going to closely resemble a size 16 and 18 in your regular commercial patterns. I had to do a three inch bicep adjustment to my sleeve pattern. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be quite similar. Uh, the neckline also, I cut the neckline lower. I cut the neckline by two inches because my neckline came all the way up <laughs> to my Adam's apple. It was nothing like this here. So I also had to do adjustment there. So I'll make a uh, list of all the adjustments and modifications that I made. And when I do my pattern review, I'll talk more in detail about this pattern. So far, I really like it. But again, I have to try it with the Charmeuse fabric and see what the drape is like. But so far, I really, I love the pattern and um i'll give you a full review but anyway this is what i want to make and let me share with you the fabric that i want to use so this is the fabric that i want to use so for the main body of the garment here which is going to be like this bust area here and then also you can't see it on her fabric that much because she has this really nice beautiful light fabric but their princess seams on here. Their little, little princess seams there. And so you have some color matching options here. But anyway, um, I'm thinking about using that for the main fabric here. And I also want to hack the pattern and turn it into a dress. So I think this would be gorgeous as a dress because I have so much fabric here. And this fabric has just called to me when I picked up this pattern. But I don't want to waste the fabric either. And so, and I have about two yards of fabric here. So I definitely want to make a dress with this. So I'm thinking the lower part of it, I'm going to make a dress that goes underneath the bodice there. Uh, so that'll be the dress. And I might color block. Like I said, it has princess seams. And so I might put this bridal fabric on the side front for contrast and then use this beautiful sheer dotted fabric it's so fun I love this fabric lovely lovely fabric look at that gorgeous so I want to use these for the sheet uh, for the sleeves but I also want to line the sleeves uh just to give it um a higher opacity you know what I mean so I don't know if I want it to be this sheer I just I might line the sleeve with some black lining so I really like that idea turning this into a dress I think that would be just lovely so that's what I'm th thinking about for the dress for the BHM pattern designers challenge I also want to make the sew over it pussy bow blouse so it's this top here you have uh, two different versions here. So version one is um, you put your necktie around the top of your neckline, but you have a little V opening and you could barely see it because, you know, you have your tie in the front, but your, your pussy bow tie does not extend down to the lower uh, V. But on this version, version two, your pussy bow blouse extends all the way down to the V at the beginning of the neckline near the cleavage area. So I've made this top twice already and I made two versions of this here. One was a success and the other was a fail and I'll share with share with you all of that. But it looks like I'm gonna have to go up a size. So I started with the size, I think it was the size 16. I'm gonna have to go up to the size 18. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Um, the size 16 is 41 inch for the bust 
and then 34 for the waist. I'm going to have to go up to the size 18, maybe even the size 20. So that's what I'm going to do. And the fabric that I want to use. So I want to use this fabric here for Valentine's Day. I want to make myself just a plain red top to go with a pair of ready to wear pants that I just picked up. They are a pair of uh, black and uh, silver uh, striped pants. Very, very lovely and amazing. And so I really want to make that for Valentine's Day. I also want to make something with this beautiful dragonfly fabric that I purchased from Joann's about two years ago. This is a gorgeous, I have a pen there. <laughs> this is a gorgeous fabric and I loved it when it first um, came out and I still love it. It's such a gorgeous fabric. So I'm thinking about using this for the pussy bow blouse as well, which I think would be so cute together. Now I have a another charmeuse fabric. Now this has some scratch in it, so I know it'll be a really great fit for this fabric because like I said, I, I usually have issues with my biceps. So this would be really great. It'll offer some more room. Now my plan is I want to make a solid version of this and I also want to make the tie for this version. I want to use this for contrast. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to make a solid version and also contrast this fabric with this. Lastly, I want to make this pattern here by Kichi. It's a Nomi pattern and it's the ME2020. So I want to make, there are two different variations. So there's a variation without sleeves and it's a shorter skirt. And then there's a variation with a longer skirt and you have these nice little flutter sleeves. And when I saw this pattern, I absolutely fell in love because traditionally when you see a classic um, shirt dress styled wrap dress, because this is a shirt dress wrap dress because you have the little collar and that's the, um, the kind of look that you usually get with a shirt dress, but you also have a wrap dress. So usually when you have these types of dresses, you have just your regular normal sleeve, you might have a band at the end of the sleeve, or you might have a little gather or a small puff. But to have a flutter sleeve, I think this is just something new and I think it's really fun. So the first thing that I want to make is um, a dress with this beautiful cotton sateen fabric. This is a bottom weight fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. I purchased this fabric like, I don't know, maybe five years ago. And I love it then. Still love it. Still love it. So the pattern has really big pockets on the front that you can use as a contrasting detail. I'm thinking about getting some white cotton sateen or some type of contrast uh fabric and putting those pockets as a contrast and even a contrast belt. I love this fabric and I am happy that I'm finally uh, getting to use this fabric for something because I have had this in my stash for quite some time and nothing was really calling to me. really loved the fabric and that's why I picked this piece up but nothing called to me except for maybe a pair of cigarette pants. And I was always too nervous to make anything like that with um, such an exaggerated print. But I love this. And I think that I'm definitely going to make the Kichi um, dress pattern with that. The second fabric and the fabric that was sponsored to me by Natita that I want to use is this beautiful cotton sateen fabric here. This fabric is so gorgeous. It's an ombre fabric. And so it starts out as this really light, soft, muted, pinkish purple color. Let's see if I can open it up so I can show you. So it starts off as this really nice, soft, pinkish purple, and it goes into darker hues of purple here. So I really like this fabric and you can tell where it ends because it picks back up with a lighter shade here. So this here, that would be one yard there. And then it just kind of picks back up. So that's the end of the yard. 
and then it picks back up into the second yard and then on to the third because I got three yards of this. So this is a really gorgeous fabric and I think this would be so gorgeous in that kichi pattern and I am excited to make something with this. Thank you Natita for sponsoring this lovely fabric and also hosting another year of the BHM Pattern Designer Challenge. I'm sure it's going to be phenomenal. So that is my video for today. I hope that you all can participate in the BHM Pattern Designer Challenge this year. Again, check my description box below and you'll see all the links to um, the challenge and also links to ambassadors so that way you can go over and follow us on Instagram and see some weekly inspiration on what you can do for the BHM Pattern Designers Challenge. Thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.